Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I am at the Sunbelt Ag Expo in Moultrie, Georgia, and I'm here in the Solace booth, and they've got the SV24. This tractor should be out on the market probably into first quarter, maybe second quarter next year. And there's a lot of really cool stuff here that I'm going to take you through and show you. So we'll talk about kind of the overall tractor, the runtime. We're going to look under the hood, show you what's under the hood. We'll talk about charge time, some of the different added features and functionality that come on a lot of the Solace tractors. Ultimately, what I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to get on there. I'm going to start it up so you can hear how this thing sounds. And we're going to lift this bale up and see it in action. So the tractor itself is equivalent to a 24 horsepower tractor. So just like the 24 HST hydrostatic tractor that I've been using for the last eight months. The difference is the fact that it's actually an electronic motor. So let's open the hood here. <laughs> so under the full metal hood, we actually have the engine and battery all in this one casing here. So the engine will do up to three hours of constant use. That means loader or backhoe or implement use three hours straight. From a charging perspective, you're looking at on a typical 220 or 110 hookup, just household hookup, you're looking at about a six to seven hour charge time. With a rapid charger that you can add to it, you're looking at around three, three and a half hours of charging. That's pretty phenomenal. This tractor comes with the self-leveling loader and has a lift capacity of 1,400 pounds. It has a lot of really cool styling features, which Solace is known for. You've got the projector headlamps. They actually have this hydro dip decor on here that's usually only found on some of your high-end automotive. There are some other really cool things in terms of lighting that's up underneath the edge here that are going to shine right down. They call it signature lighting. That's going to shine down right in front of your wheels. So in addition to the headlamps, you have that. As you can see, we're outfitted with a grapple right now. There are a number of other really cool features on here. Standard rear remotes. It does now have an optional hydraulic top link that you can add to it. Look at the nice uh, stylish seat. This little uh, S on the front is gonna light up when we uh, turn it on. Let's walk around here. We're gonna look at the charging port and talk a little bit about that. So we have a standard charger over here that's gonna need to be removed when we actually do the, uh, do the charging. And as I mentioned, you can get a rapid charger to go on that as well. So let's go ahead and pull that charger off here. You can mount this tractor from either side. It's got handrails and steps on both sides. It has a electro-hydraulic PTO, meaning just with a flip of a button, you can get it up and running. Integrated joystick with third function. On the uh, startup here, we're going to put the key in, turn it to the side, Turn on our battery. Wait three seconds to start. And then I'm gonna hold this for three seconds while it starts up. Ready to move. So what we got now is you're gonna to start to hear this ramp up. I'm mic'd here on the tractor, so you might hear that noise. The noise will subside and it's really not very noisy at all, not at all like a diesel engine. And while it's warming up here, one of the things I want to mention is on a diesel, as you increase the power output or you know whatever the usage load that you're using, you decline in power. So think about as you're driving up a hill or as you're getting into some uh, hard earth or whatever, the cool thing about a electric motor is it's going to stay constant on the torque. So while I didn't think this was going to be a great product for me to use in the hills of Ohio, it would allow me to get up and down the hills without any reduction in power. So it has a little dial here where we can turn up the RPMs. So we're going to turn that up. And notice that the self-leveling loader is going to level my bale as I bring it up. So not only does the self-leveling loader give me a larger lift capacity, I think I said earlier 1,400 pounds, but it also keeps your load from rolling back on you. So it's a great safety feature as well. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that back down. Turn down our RPMs. 
This thing is super quiet, so you could be mowing in your neighborhood or whatever and nobody would be complaining. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Turn off my battery, and then we'll take a little look around the uh, the tractor here. So a few other things about this tractor: you've got cruise control, your hazard lights, your PTO on off. You can turn on and off the battery so that you're not having any discharge when you're not using it. As I mentioned, an option on here is the new hydraulic top link that they're offering. All these tractors come standard with the rear remotes, sway bar or draw bar, and a uh, light in the back with a toolbox. One of the things I like about the Solus tractors, which is such a simple idea, is the fact that they have that valve stem protection there. Front end self-leveling loader, 1,400 pounds as I said, integrated legs, so that removes real easily. This is a hydrostatic tractor, if I didn't mention that before. It is four-wheel drive. This is the throttle here. This is a good looking tractor. All right, so I hope you enjoyed your tour around the SV24. Keep an eye on it on solacetractorsusa.com as they become available next year. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I know electric's not for everybody, so uh, you know, have at it. Let's hear about your thoughts on electric. And um, yeah, we're gonna see this one in action here in the coming months. So uh, stick around. Thanks for watching.